Close rescuing is a core duty of the United States Coast Guard station in Burlington. It's not a common mission of a Coast Guard post per se, but with a frozen lake Champlain in this station's backyard, being out in the ice is something service personnel are preparing for around the clock. WPTZ's Hannah McDonald explains. When the lake uh, thawed out, we were like, well, that was weird. You know, hopefully it doesn't happen again. And now here you are, it happened again. With all 125 miles of Lake Champlain officially frozen, the United States Coast Guard could be called to do an ice rescue any day, anywhere on the lake. Wrist seals and the neck seals, if those are torn or misplaced at all, then uh, you, you'll get water in your suit and you'll have a pretty uncomfortable day. At the beginning of every shift, members of the unit check three layers of gear, a snug fitting top and bottom, a fleece onesie called a bunny suit, and a top layer that's waterproof. The suit's not buoyant, so we have to wear this personal flotation device, and um, that gives us all our flotation that we need in case we were to go through during a rescue. Locally, every lake bordering town and city is trained on ice rescues, too. Every fire department that's on the lake, they all have ice rescue capabilities. So there's a lot of assets on the lake for ice rescue. Um, so really, we can respond to anywhere on the lake, um, but we do focus like locally. Like that's, we probably get there first, like in a local area. In this video provided by the Coast Guard, members are completing an ice rescue drill on the lake, applying the reach technique. They pull the person trapped in the ice out with a sled using a pulley system. Burlington is the only Coast Guard station in New England that prepares for ice rescues. They get training and guidance from the Great Lakes District. That's where the other ice rescue operations are in the country. Across the board, everyone works to make sure they're ready for a rescue, day or night. You know, we have big flashlights that can handle it, and headlamps. You know, we can we prepare for the worst, no matter what. In Burlington, Hannah McDonald, WPTZ News Channel 5.